Good evening. Welcome to the National Peace, Wisdom, and Harmony Meditation. Thank you for being with us this evening. And my husband, Dave Miller, will be playing the gongs to accompany me. And so just sit back and relax and listen. So this presentation is brought to you by NewThoughtKabbalah.com and is produced by Touch Mother Earth nonprofit at www.touchmotherearth.org. We bring the outside in for the sable. We film events and bring them in to sable people who cannot venture outside. You can check us out at www.touchmotherearth.org. We, um, we welcome you and we bless you from wherever it is you're joining us, whether that's on Zoom or Facebook. We know that this is a time where everybody is very emotional, and very excited, and we have seen things happen in our country and in our world that has never happened before. And so these meditations week after week until the election is to bring us to healing, to harmony, peace, and above all wisdom. And just sit back and relax. Take a deep breath. And bring the energy in. Breathe in. Slowly into your heart. your body, down into your feet, and if you can keep your feet flat on the floor, that's even better, as you let the energy release from your left foot down into Mother Earth, and your right foot down into Mother Earth. And we kind of want to create a circuit. We have the sun above with its light energy coming in from an invisible hole on the top of your head, which is your crown chakra. And that energy comes into the top, behind your eyes, into your throat, into your heart, into your solar plexus, into your stomach from hip to hip and the energy goes down one foot on the left and the other foot on the right creating a circuit from the light into mother Earth. at the same time we want to draw energy from the planet and so we have that energy come up our left foot and our right foot, that energy is red, and it comes in and comes into the base of our spine. And so we have the white light coming in and mixing with the red light. And this is a position that will give us light and grounding. We ask for the forces of light of good, the divine light, El Shaddai, and we breathe 
We ask for the presence of the archangels. And we ask for the archangel Michael to come in and surround us with a white light circle of protection. And we expand that protection to the circumference of each of our homes, our cities, our counties, our states, and our nation. We ask that this light of protection protect our country, our families, our loved ones, our friends, and all of us. We ask for protection from foreign influences of any sort. We ask for protection of our land, protection from hurricanes and storms. We ask for protection of invaders, whether those be cyber or physical or any sort. We ask for protection from disease, from pestilence, from insects, from any type of invading forces. And we ask that the Archangel Michael bless us and protect us in a protection that serves as spiritual protection and physical protection. We ask that this meditation be for everyone's highest good, that we as individuals and as a nation receive peace and harmony, wisdom, understanding, love, compassion, passion, joy, peace, healing, and health. We ask that we receive a higher understanding that the divine compassion and the divine peace pervade in our subconscious. We ask to let go of our egos and transcend those egos so that the decisions we make are from our higher selves, our higher souls, our nishama, and our presence of our soul and spirit in connection with the one soul, Adam. We ask that this oneness bring us to a oneness of spirit in this country. And that this spiritual realm lead our nation to be a nation of love, a nation of harmony, a nation of justice, a nation of freedom, a nation of understanding, a nation of wisdom, a nation of prosperity, a nation that is free from disease, a nation of joy for all our peoples. We ask for freedom of all types, freedom from slavery, freedom of consciousness, freedom to hear the divine messages, freedom not to listen to false prophets, freedom to hear our divine self in connection with the divine one. We ask that all of us in higher consciousness seek the oneness of our soul, that we are one soul, and that this oneness of soul is how we make our decisions, see each other in fairness, that we give to charity to those who need it, 
and that this charity lead us to an understanding in the depth of our soul and our divine qualities how we give in order to heal ourselves and the other. We ask that we don't see the other as a foreigner, but we see the other as a reflection of our divine selves. We ask and we pray for healing for our nation that is divided and that as above so below we ask for the oneness above and the oneness on the earth plane in our nation and that we give an ephemeral handshake to the other the other that may be a different color skin a different belief, a different ideal, a different base, a different upbringing, a different socioeconomic place. But those differences give us unity in diversity. We ask that we brace, embrace, Embrace unity in diversity. For the more diverse we are, the more pieces of the one we have. The one consciousness, the one soul, the one divine spark. We ask that this oneness bring us the wisdom to suspend our ego and feel that divine spark and that we make decisions from our highest point not our lowest point we ask that we bring a handshake or a hand up the ladder of consciousness to those that cry that hurt that are in pain, that are in poverty, that are in dis-ease, to those who are hungry, that do not have the medical care that they need, the love and care that they need, the compassion that they need, the human connection that they need. We ask that we bring as one nation, even if we are separated physically in a moment in time, that we bring that humanity to all the peoples of our nation in every state. We ask that the colors of the divine consciousness, the white light, come from Maine to Florida, to California, to Portland, to Hawaii, to Puerto Rico, to the outlying islands, that this divine light seek all our citizens all those that are under our protection, all those that have seek and sought our light of liberty and have come for a better tomorrow. citizens to help another 
not hurt another, help another in any way possible. Maybe it is a kind word. Maybe it is a prayer. Maybe you ask for another of the divine for help. Maybe you pray for another family. Maybe you give a donation to help. Maybe you bring wisdom to another by bringing words of wisdom. Maybe you give a virtual hug to someone, a mem, a cartoon, a kind word, a wish for healing, a prayer for healing. Maybe each day you wake up and pray for those that are sick. We ask you what more you could do. Even in isolation, there is no separation of our soul. For this is the divine lesson. We are one soul, one people's. thought of separation, how ego is created, is an illusion. And those that support the illusion of separation, of division, of dividedness, of separateness, of difference, are not your leaders. We ask that you send divine healing divine love and divine wisdom to the leaders of this country and the potential leaders. That we see the leaders that are connected to the divine energy. And we make our decisions from a divine source. What are the divine qualities? They are compassion. They are healing. They are ethics. And a foundation of ethical light. Decisions. Ethical justice for all. We leave no man or woman behind, not in any capacity, whether they are hungry, whether they need medical attention, whether they need love, whether they need compassion, whether they need education, whether they need wisdom, knowledge, prosperity, food on their table, warmth in their houses, we leave no person, no soul behind, for this is the divine leadership. We as a nation seek divine leadership, not ego leadership, divine those that wish to lead all people. We care not what your party, your belief, your religion, your color, your upbringing, any of that is. For God is colorblind. We are colorblind. We need leaders that want peace and harmony for all. Above all, we seek wisdom, for our leadership of wisdom will bring us 
all good things in the higher realm. We seek leadership of the soul and not to lead our souls behind. We seek leaders who know they have a soul and make decisions from that of what all people need. We seek leaders that do not want war, that do not want despair, that worship no other God than the divine itself. For we cannot have gods of money. We cannot have gods of gold. We cannot have gods of jewelry. We cannot have gods who worship money. We cannot have gods that worship power for power's sake. We cannot have gods that wish to make a strong to be strong. We wish to be strong to be peaceful. And that is the only mantra. We wish to be a country that offers love kindness, compassion, all the divine qualities. And if you have forgotten what those divine qualities, and we do not care what religion you are, for those divine qualities are in every religion of the world. We ask you to seek those divine qualities in your leaders. Make them rise to those qualities. When the world first started, the divine qualities were given to kings and queens in a passing along of those qualities in the hopes that those divine qualities would and as the world turned, we saw many that did not embrace that. And we ended up with decisions to choose who our rulers were. But never should we choose any one person that does not have those attributes the attributes of divine compassion, divine love, divine giveness. divine forgiveness. ourselves who did not choose well, ourselves who forgot the big picture of what we wish to look like, the divine role model, we ask for forgiveness that those that they themselves did not be that model. We ask our leaders from now and in the future to 
to be the best of the best. To be the best that they can be for all people. The word aristocracy was created by Plato to mean government by the best. It was not government by the rich. It was government by the best. And now is the time to choose as individuals government by the best. And the best could never be anything that is segregated, limited, defunct, fear-based, war-based, divisive, separating for a few. Government by the best for all people. This is the definition. This is the definition of the word governing public the people for all people. The public. So we as the essence of divine being in our own consciousness, in our own connection with our own divine source, suspend our egos, touch our souls, look for our divine role model. seek that we be the best of the best, the best we can be, the best parents, the best leaders, the best at whatever it is we do, the best teachers, the best role models. And as such, we demand, we seek, we ask the heavens to provide the best role models, the best governors, the best leaders, the best teachers, the best ethical base that our children will believe in in future generations for seven generations to come. For what we do now we bring the energy to the next seven generations. We are responsible, not others. And as higher conscious seeking beings, we must choose those beings that are higher conscious seeking, that believe in love for all people, prosperity, healing. Let us stop, stop the plagues, the locusts, the disease, the sins. Let us stop this now. As we as higher conscious being choose higher conscious being. Leaders, role models that we can say to our children and our grandchildren, we chose to get out of the fire. We chose 
to move forward. Leave our past mistakes behind. And bring a new enlightenment. The Roaring Twenties. A new enlightenment to the 2020s. And so we ask for the age of enlightenment. We ask for more than we have. We ask not just to move ourselves out of the fire, but we ask for an enlightened future for this decade and generation. We have seen the blight, the plight, the hunger, the floods, the hurricanes, the wind, the locusts, the pandemics. We have seen it. And we understand our forefathers. We understand what our forefathers in greatness, in Moses, in Jesus, in all of the divine fathers and mothers saw. We understand, for we have tasted it, and we stand now. We stand strong to know that we must be higher conscious beings. We must be those leaders and role models. We must move past it to the age of enlightenment and bring the divine qualities attributes, the holy attributes, back to this country as we move forward into the age of enlightenment and bring beauty, prosperity, peace, harmony, love, enlightenment to this country as it leads the world in peace, in wisdom, to an enlightened age. want to see you smile. To move through this where there are no masks. There are no egos. A masks are only a symbol of the ego we had built over decades to separate ourselves. It takes intention, what we call ka'un. It takes intention to move forward out of the age of blight and plight and thunder and plunder and pandemic into the age of enlightenment as you taste three steps forward into the holy city. Into the holy country. Into a holy world. And bring your brothers and sisters with you. Bring your children and grandchildren. Bring your parents. It is called a holy exodus. And we choose to exodus the way it has been. We leave and step into holiness, the age of equality, justice, enlightenment. 
come with us as we take a holy step forward into a new age one that leaves everyone behind that does not see the enlightened way and we join hand in hand heart in heart arm in arm as we move forward to the age of enlightenment come with us sit back and listen to the gongs as they take you on a heavenly journey Slowly bring yourself back into the room, into your own place. Keep the energy of the divine, keep the energy Thank you for being here. I thank my husband, Dave Miller, and the gongs for that beautiful sound bath and playing. I thank you for being with us this evening. This meditations will, these meditations will continue until the election as we bring the Age of Enlightenment forward. This is produced by NewThoughtKabbalah.com and Touch Mother Earth at www.TouchMotherEarth.org Please visit us. We are a nonprofit that helps bring the outside in to disabled people who cannot go out. I thank you with love, peace, and harmony and blessings. Good evening.